Hey, yo, what up? This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is The Art of Letting Go. Letting go, letting go. Yeah, we out here at a new location today. Yeah. So we're trying to get comfortable real quick. <laughs> out here in West LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's busy. Very busy. Sun is setting and everything. Yeah, it's nice. How you doing today? I'm doing all right, man. I'm uh, going through some things, but I'm doing all right overall. How you doing? I'm doing good. How's it going? That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> it's live and you got live people speaking and everything. Yeah, um, yeah. Um today, man, I really wanted to let go of disappointing myself. Okay. Um I recognize that I've done that a lot in my life mm-hmm. and I've finally gotten to a place where I can't accept that for myself anymore. Okay. Um yeah, and I and I feel myself working in that direction. Okay. Like just not accepting myself being distracted, failing or being afraid. You know, fear has been fear has been probably my biggest hurdle to get over. Yeah. And being where I'm at today, I'm not letting my fear stop me from accomplishing the things that are most important to me. I feel you, man. I um I had the opportunity to go. It's funny you brought that up. I had the opportunity to go to a concert last night. Yeah. And uh, my boy was like, yo, yo, let's go check it out. It's free. And I really want to see the artist. I really like the artist. But something hit me like I really just want to work on my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to go see somebody else do what I want to do all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like I felt like I needed to work because I... Like it's cool He's a dope artist And I probably would have Really enjoyed the show And I probably would even Learn something Yeah But I was at a space Where I was like I have the opportunity To either uh, Bishop came through last night Yeah And uh, I got to talk to him About some stuff That I want to do Some shoots That I want to have In the future And uh, I was happy With just doing that man Yeah And I went to the gym And um, I had to choose myself Yeah uh, Versus choosing What might have been The more fun thing to do um, In the moment That's real You know what I'm saying And I think that goes along The line with Like not disappointing myself Like I really I have certain things That I want to accomplish And I mean if I have a goal Then I just got to do it You know what I'm saying Um, And I actually thought I can't remember exactly What the Drake line was But You know when he was talking about um, I'm in a studio I'm making all the songs That y'all party to and uh, I just thought it was a, it's a cool thing. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm at that point now where I want to just create and make and do. And when I get to the chance to party and relax and do what I need to do, then I'll do that. But right now, yeah. I feel like it's, it's time to get some stuff done. It is, man. Um, I think I have disappointed myself the most in the past, probably by not executing. Yeah. Um, and I see what both sides of that look like now, putting out a project and also waiting to do it like being afraid to do it for whatever reason i was afraid of right and something in me is not letting me settle for that no more yeah so you know as i'm growing and as i'm changing i'm trying to follow more of the feelings that i'm getting Mm -hmm. you know so it's uh it's it's more exciting than it is scary right now that's what's up that's what's up um where do you um how do you feel like you're executing now? Like um, what's different about what you're doing now versus what you were doing before? Follow through. Okay. Uh, when I write, I'm I'm very visual uh-huh. with what I do, so I write out a lot of plans. And I think every time I've done something, I've written out a plan, but haven't followed through with it because, like I said, fear. Right. So to have a plan and see it all written there, like all the steps are there. Yeah. So there's no excuse for me not to do it. Right. So I'm in a place now where it's like, okay, it's there, boom, execute. Dope. And the result is a success because I'm doing it. Whether yeah. whether it does what I want, like I I really don't have a real expectation of what I'm expecting anything to do. Right. The expectation is on me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if I'm expecting myself to execute, I'm gonna get what I want. Yeah. But you know, if I'm not executing, that's when I start setting up all these other, it has to get this many streams, yeah, yeah, this yeah, many yeah, listens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that shit means shit. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if if I'm not putting it out there for people to hear or whatever the fuck I'm working on, like, and, and not even just with work, but just with life in general, uh-huh. if I'm not acting on the things that I say that I want to do, 
I'm going to disappoint myself every right. time. Right. Straight, straight up. And I like the fact that you said that it's about the execution because it's like at a certain point, you just have to decide. You have to really, it's, you really just have to decide like this is what it's going to be. Absolutely. And, and run with it. You know what I'm saying? Like not second guess yourself. Um, I was doing this thing today talking about resiliency. And you know how we've all been through certain things in our life that make us think the way that we think. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be fear, whether it be uh, a trauma or whatever it is. And to be resilient is to say that I've been through all of these things, but I'm still here and I'm still fighting. I still have and there's still strength in that. Right. And, you know, the fact that you can look back at the, what the fear was and what was causing you not to follow through and what was causing you not to do certain things. And now you like. All right, I learned from those things, and yeah. I'm going to get better at doing this. And I'm, it's not like you changed, right? You just decided to do better, and uh, I think that's really dope. And I feel like I'm in the same place. Like I'm, I'm deciding to do better. Like regardless of the circumstance or every anything else that's made that's really going on, I know that I can count on me. Yeah. Like I might not be able to count on everybody, you know what I'm saying? And I and I can't even be mad at that, right? You know what I'm saying? But I have to be able to count on myself, regardless. Of what else is going on with anybody else or with anything else i definitely agree and you know just kind of looking at my life i experienced the same the same scenarios in every level of my life yeah it's just now just recognizing where i'm at to use the tools that i have in this situation to get a better result so like i said putting out a project rather than just putting it out and not sharing it with people I'm going through my whole fucking phone yeah. and hitting up as many people as possible. That's what's up. And it's like, I don't know what the end result of that is, but when I'm done with it, I can look at it right. and see what it was. Yeah. And then if it worked, stick with it. If not, change it up, continuously add to it. Yeah. And that's, that's really what I see, man. Like, you know, I just don't, I just don't want to sell myself short especially when i know what my shit is worth right i can't let myself like like i've, I've worked with other motherfuckers and other like internships and shit where i've pushed other people's shit yeah hard as right, a motherfucker. right right and it's like if i believe in this shit everything i'm doing mm -hmm. i gotta push it that hard that's real and i have to believe in it that yeah, hard that's real so it's yeah it's, man it's crazy too because life is so life is moving so fast yeah. Like I had a conversation with this girl earlier today and we was talking about how like after high school everything kind of seemed like it was just moving. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But at, it, for me it was after college. For her it was after high school. Yeah. But after college I just felt like things just going, 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 going. And unless you take a hold of what you got going on because you can get caught up in the, in the everyday Absolutely. hustle and bustle of life. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But if you decide that nah, this is what I'm going to you can sl actually slow down life a little bit because you're deciding to intentionally do things for you yeah. that are going to better you, yourself you know what I'm saying and so I, I agree with you 100% man like pushing your shit pushing uh, what you believe in pushing all of that and making a conscious effort of doing it like I told you I know today was a beach day for you yeah and um, I was jealous <laughs> um, but it was it wasn't a jealous like oh this nigga you know what I'm saying? it was yeah. more of like damn like he really doing he really doing that shit yeah and there's certain things that keep me from just doing that right now yeah but I know that I'm working my way toward that goal again absolutely you man and, so, and it's the thing is you know I'm not gonna front like I do this every day but sometimes you gotta make time for that shit right you know like I consciously told myself today and I told myself yesterday I was like I'm going to the beach tomorrow yeah and it could have been cloudy as fuck or whatever, but I was going to be at the beach. Yeah. Didn't know what, what amount of time I was going to spend, <laughs> but I was going to be at the beach. Yeah. So, you know, just finding a little bit of time to do something for yourself, I think it's a lot of freedom in that shit, man, because right. we, we so constrained to so many things that, I ha you know, you have to... Uh, Totally distracting me, but right, 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 right. <laughs> you get restrained with so many things. I, ha I got you. You yeah, get restrained but, with so but, many things. You know, going to work, um, you know, relationships, work, business, right, all that shit. Right. You got to find some time for yourself. Yeah, whatever it whatever is, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is. I play ball Friday, and That's what's up. I've been playing ball the past couple of Fridays because I need that for myself. I need that because it's, it's healthy what time for me. Be playing? 
We play from 7.30 to 10. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to come this Friday. That's a bit. I'm going to come this Friday because I, 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 I got something to do at 11. Yeah. But uh, that's perfect. I can leave at 10 and make it to what I got to do at 11. And if you don't want to stay the whole time, you don't have to. That's like, real, too. You can play as much or as little that's as you want too. to. I'm going to bring, bring some gear. Yeah. <laughs> Start hooping. I went to the gym last night, uh, and that felt good. That felt good to go to the gym. And, it, you know, it was really peaceful yeah. for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I was really tired and didn't really want to do it. But Damn. I chose... I can feel my stuff starting to choose me more often. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's making a difference in my life. Like, I'm I'm just happier. Man, the, I was just telling my mother the other day, the best way to take care of everybody else is to take care of yourself. Right. But if you ain't taking care of yourself, that shit is affecting everything exactly. around you. So you exactly. gotta take care of yourself. Exactly. Sometimes it feels selfish, but I think I've been I've been working at it so much that it don't even feel selfish to me yeah. no more. It's like I have to do what's best for me in order for everything else to flourish mm-hmm. in my life. And it's you know, selfish and selfless are, are can be one and the same when it comes into this. You know what I'm saying? In order right. for me to be more selfless for you, I have to be selfish for myself right like i have to be you know what i'm saying like i can't give you 100 percent of myself because then what i got left for me right you know what i'm saying and so um i agree man like i think we both on the right on the right path i think we both and we can see it just with the different stuff that's going on like just the news i gave you earlier that we'll yeah. talk about later you know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga, that nigga came fast, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga scared the hell out of me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, you know, and, and doing this out here is actually really dope. I actually want to do this more often. Yeah. Uh, I like all the distraction and things going on. But, um, yeah, bro, this is this is dope. This is dope. And I just keep at it. Keep at what you're doing. And if anybody else out there wants to talk to us about what they want to execute or different things like that, because it's cool to... Like, it's cool to write everything down, and then the next part of it is just having somebody hold you accountable to the things yeah, man. that you that you say you go get done, so we can check in on each other and make sure that that stuff is getting done. And man, it's, to me, surrounding yourself around people that are doing shit. Yeah. I know, lately I've been around a lot of singers, a lot mm-hmm. of people that just do shit. Right. Artists, and it's like people are so active that... You know Your energy is attracted To these people For some reason Right So now To maintain being Within this You gotta do something For yourself exactly. and, and not necessarily Doing what they doing But right. doing whatever You doing in your own way Because mm-hmm. We all feed off Of each other yeah. So It goes back to that energy We were talking yeah. about A couple of weeks ago It goes back to that energy You 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 surround yourself With that That push That positive That go getter energy Mentality It's gonna rub off on you You ain't gonna Absolutely. have No choice but to do it Cause you ain't gonna have nothing to talk about if you don't. <laughs> For real. For real. You have nothing to talk about if you don't. Nothing to talk about. So, um, yeah, man. I do want to hear from y'all though. If y'all have anything that y'all want to share as far as executing, um, you know, not disappointing yourself, not letting yourself down. Please share it with us. Uh, you can share it with us on Instagram, the Art of Letting Go podcast, um, and just let us know what's up. Like, let us know what's going on with you, and 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 help us hold you accountable, and hold us accountable too to the things we say too. Absolutely. You got anything else you want to share, brother? Nah, man. That's all I got. All right, man. Let's get up out of here. This has been Mike Brown. This is Alpha. Oh, where can the people find you? Hey, I just thought about the same thing. Yeah. Uh, find me on uh, Instagram, um, Alpha, A-L-F-P-H-A underscore presents, um, social media in general. Um, you can find us on the Auto Letting Go podcast on YouTube, on SoundCloud, on iTunes. Um, where can the people find you at, brother? You can find me at Just Mike Brown on all social media, yeah. and you can find me at PrimoMiguel.com uh, for all things Mike Brown. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Doc. Let's go ahead. All right, this is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is The Art of Letting Go. Letting go. Letting go. Peace. Peace.